Okay, so this is my setup for my uh, supercharged Toyota 5M GE engine. It's 12 valve, uh, straight six from the Sleeka Supra. Um, I used a Jaguar M90 supercharger from the uh, XJR6. It's a four litre straight six engine uh, that came on the drag about mid 90s, but it, it, about four years I think they were made. Uh, it's a short snout. So it is quite a short supercharger, that's my that's a hand for reference. Uh, it's quite a short snout, but it's quite a big supercharger. It's bigger than the M62, and it's a little bit smaller than the M112. But uh, it's a three low rotor, and it's quite efficient, apparently. Uh, it's going to run about 10 PSI. I'm using the uh, Jaguar XJR6 bottom pulley, which is a 7.5 inch bottom pulley. And uh, remove the aircon pump uh, V-belt pulley on the Celica Super bottom pulley and um, replaced it with the Jaguar one. It's got four little tapped holes in the Toyota pulley so you can use them to mount it to. So yeah, I think it was a two mil machined out basically and two mil machined off the um, Jaguar pulley. I'll show you that later on. Uh, this is the mount I've made. It's based on the um, the old aircon pulley basically but with the same mounting holes. Uh, here and here you can't really sit too great but yeah it's here and there just under the pulley basically that's it there um, that's the where the original mounts on mate, pretty much um, gone a bit a bit hardcore with the aluminium <laughs> went a bit went a bit overkill sort of with thickness but I didn't want it to break and well you know what's a couple of grams here and there anyway it's it's a big unit so I'll try and save a bit where I can but I've machined out what I'm happy with sort of thing just need to radius the corners really uh, it's going to mount on there on the side of the block and here and here on the front of the block um, yeah it's quite quite strong actually I, I doesn't seem to have a, any flex on it whatsoever and these four bolts here they bolt to the supercharger here so I have to remove that bolt there that bolt there that bolt so it's four bolts in total uh, that got removed so yeah I've just loosened those off at the moment but it does keep this sealed because it does have oil in here so you've got to keep it sealed otherwise you'll run into leakage and problems and that's not good at all um, to mount it all to basically I've got the old the original Jaguar outlet used to go like that and had a hole underneath there which fed into this pipe here which mounts on here it used to feed into there like so but I wanted it front facing so what we did is it just luck fitted on really nice because luckily the bolts are the same spacing apart both ends so that was easy and then I'm just using this bit of silicon hose which mounts on there for the recirc. I've also got the actuator for the recirc. Uh, I had to make a little adjustment here and there with this. It used to bolt on here but this will hit the engine mount so what we have to do is you have to bring it back a little bit with a plate an adapter plate bring the actuator back and then use this part of the rod here to heat up make a 90 degree bend and basically replicate that just a little bit shorter down and then it will clear the pulley uh the engine mount sorry so uh yeah it, it was a bit of a faff but i got there in the end with it and then um, a couple of guys at work, they were good, good welders, so I made a new throttle butterfly intake with a 3mm aluminium. It's a bit, bit thick, just about clears the engine mount, uh, the engine side and I've got the chassis rail there so it, it, it is close but basically bolts on. like so so it does make it quite a long supercharger when you get it all up there but if i was using a long snout 
I'd be way, way back. And it, it would just be too far, basically. M62s are quite short as well, so you could use one of those. But I wanted to go M90, really, because I thought it's quite a big engine. M62s are usually used on 2 litres. And, uh, yeah, it's a 2.8, so it came off a 4-litre Jag, so should be good really it shouldn't run out of breath too badly and then for the intake for that i'm using a genuine hks mushroom filter uh it's got some aluminium little joiners in there basically to connect it all uh just some silicon hose i, I sort of bought and measured and cut and cut again and measured and yeah so that will go on there like so and then that will fit in the car um electronics i've got to run something standalone basically because it, it it's 1985 technology there's no point in going with it you might as well just upgrade it's 2019 you know it's the future is here so i'm going to go with a uh ecu master black ecu it's a bit more expensive than the basic one which isn't that basic to be honest but it's got a um, Bosch Lambda sensor, a 14.9 LSU, I think it's called. Uh, and that's compatible with what my a, my air fuel ratio gauge is, the AEM. And if I went with the uh, the standard ECU master ECU or an ink, a link, I'd probably have to struggle and buy a new um, Lambda sensor. So it's 150 quid extra. I don't really want to spend that if i have to and i might as well get the best i can afford so i think i'll go with the eu ecu master black in a couple of months i expect and then get that wired in to the car i've worked out which every plug does on the ecu and the loom now for the supra so i'll bring that to you in another video but yeah for the moment i'm just gonna gonna install this in a bit and uh, show you what it's like uh, i've got a gates belt for it it's a 1030 which is just the right belt for it and i did struggle and sort of buy the left the one the smaller one and the longer one and this one's a bit like porridge it's just right so uh quite happy with that it's correct tension on the belt don't want it too loose or too tight if you can help it it's all got to be aligned as well um this pulley here on the jaguar on the uh, supercharger it's a old jaguar one um i think it comes on land rovers as well it's quite, it's quite a basic sort of pulley um i think it's for a larger one as well because it's slightly wider but it's not really gonna matter to me to be honest it's probably gonna help um and then basically to tension it you just use a wrench put that in there and then push down and that will tension take the take the tension off the uh, spring and then you can release it when you've when you got the belt on so it's um yeah it come together quite well to be honest it was a good thing that i had the original aircon pulley and pump and bracket on there because it gave me a lot of ideas of how to do it I've seen a lot of people do these on the exhaust side and i didn't really want to do that because then you've got to start moving pumps and yeah alternators and things and yeah i don't really want to do that i want to keep it simple as i can and it looks quite tidy as well how it is so yeah it's a bit of a labor of love it's taken me a bloody long time to do it but yeah it's finally it's all bolted up i will weigh it at some point uh before i put on the car but to be honest i don't think now i've removed the battery as well uh, i think the weight in the corner is pretty much the same so not really gain much and i don't think i'm going to lose much so is what it is but it's an m90 supercharged 5m ge g z e really uh yeah there we go next video will be installed on the car thanks for watching